Hi, my name is Louisa and I'm a harm reduction health educator at Maine General. This series of videos covers injection techniques and today I'll be talking about veins and arteries. So let's first go over blood vessels in general. Blood vessels are the tubes that take blood all around your body. Arteries are the specific tubes that take nutrient rich blood from your heart to the rest of your body. And they function at a pretty high pressure. This means that if an artery is hit or nicked, blood will escape quickly and bleeding can be uncontrollable. Veins, on the other hand, are the tubes that return nutrient poor blood back to the heart. Blood flows pretty slowly and at a low pressure in veins, so puncturing and hitting a vein isn't as a big of a deal as hitting an artery because you won't lose that much blood. Intravenous injection, or mainlining as it's usually called, is the most common way to consume injection-based drugs like heroin. When you're mainlining or shooting up, you inject a drug into your veins in order to cause a high. You absolutely do not want to inject into an artery instead of a vein because hitting an artery, as I said before, can be really, really dangerous and sometimes even fatal. Fortunately, you can avoid hitting an artery by never injecting when you feel, where you feel a pulse and trying not to inject into deeper, non-surface level veins. So arteries carry a pulse with them, so injecting into a blood vessel that's beating like a heart can be pretty dangerous. You can check the pulse of a blood vessel by touching the injection site before cleaning it and injecting. Arteries are also usually deeper than veins, so the blood vessels you can see just below the skin or that appear raised are usually veins. They also might appear to be blue. If you can't check a blood vessel before injection, it'll usually be pretty clear if you've hit an artery. You'll probably feel an electric burning sensation, and the blood flowing into the syringe when you register will be a bright, fast-moving red instead of a slow brown blood. Your syringe might also be pushed back when you try to inject. So what should you do if you end up hitting an artery? Since the blood loss that results from a punctured artery can be fatal, it's really important to act fast. Untie your tourniquet ASAP, raise your limb above your head if that's at all possible, and apply pressure to your wound for at least 10 minutes. If bleeding hasn't stopped after 10 minutes, continue holding pressure and seek immediate medical help. At Next Step Needle Exchange, we offer many supplies like cottons, needles, sterile waters, tourniquets, alcohol prep pads, BZK pads, and triple antibiotic ointment. These supplies help create a safer, cleaner environment for drug use, reducing the risk of infections and other problems. Thanks for joining me today, and I invite you to check out more of our videos located in Maine General's Harm Reduction YouTube playlist.